How's it going guys, Chris here for another weapon guide and today I'm going to focus on the AE4 Assault Rifle in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This gun is exclusive to the Havoc DLC and you'll be able to use it if you buy either the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Season Pass or the Havoc DLC. Once you do this, the gun should be ready to use without having to unlock it, alongside its Widowmaker variant and these can be found at the top of the Assault Rifles list. So first things first, the AE4 is a completely new weapon for the game and rather than firing bullets, this one actually fires laser bolts. It's a directed energy assault rifle and it follows a similar sort of heat up system that the EM1 has. So it'll overheat after prolonged fire, meaning you'll have to wait around for it to cool down or change its battery pack, which is kinda like a reload in a way. The gun has some pretty interesting stats and they can compare quite differently to the other assault rifles in the game that already exist. The AE4 has a pretty high damage rate, allowing for a 3 hit kill at close to medium ranges, but this drops off to a 4 hit kill at longer range. But to compensate for this high damage, it has a really slow fire rate at around about 500 RPM, making it one of the slowest firing weapons in the game. The recoil is fairly small, but down to the way it actually kicks, I found it to be quite tricky to stay on target over time, especially on moving targets or people far away. The AE4 kicks laterally from side to side, and due to this, it can be sometimes difficult to manage. Though the actual recoil itself isn't too high, but the pattern might take some getting used to. The gun also has a slight sway when you're aiming down the sights, and has a bit of a distracting flash when it's fired that can be quite off-putting sometimes especially if you're trying to focus on someone who's firing back at you, causing you to flinch. You can fire about 16 shots one after the other without stopping before the gun overheats. So it's probably not the best weapon for mowing down large groups of enemy players, as this is actually really low compared to the other assault rifles. I actually found this gun performed very differently depending on the range. At close to medium range it excels, and if you manage to get your shots on target, it'll drop your enemies pretty quickly. Although the weapon has an okay range and can kill in 4 shots at long range, I found it a lot more difficult to kill people further away. This is probably down to the gun's side to side recoil and weapon sway, and due to the fact that the rate of fire is so slow. So if my shot misses, it'll take a longer time for the next shot to hit them compared to other guns. Another drawback of this weapon is that it can't actually fire through objects, meaning you won't deal any extra damage for shooting through walls or cover like the other guns that fire bullets. I found that the AE4 has surprisingly good hit fire at close ranges, the hit fire spread isn't too large, and because you only need 3 shots to kill in CQC, this downs enemies really fast, though you can't actually equip the laser sight to make the hit fire any better. I guess there'd be no point adding any more lasers to this though if you could, it'd probably look a little bit mad. Ok so the AE4 has less attachments than the other assault rifles making it a less customizable weapon. It doesn't have your typical assault rifle attachments like the laser sight or the grenade launcher or silencer. The iron sights are either really good or really bad, they're a bit like Marmite, most people either love them or hate them, and I'm not a big fan to be honest. Although they are quite clear, I don't find them very accurate to use as they actually aim slightly above where the marker is on the sight. So for this sole reason, I have to opt for another sight, preferably the red dot just so it can be a little bit more accurate and this will help me at longer ranges. Another attachment that I would highly recommend is the foregrip. This will reduce the recoil a bit, making it more manageable, especially as its recoil pattern can be quite hard to adjust and get your shots accurate. This should also help with those longer ranged enemies. Now another attachment that you should probably consider using is the heatsink. The AE4 overheats ridiculously fast so by equipping the heatsink you'll be able to fire an extra few shots without having to worry about not having enough shots to kill the other player. And this will probably save your life a lot more than you might think. One way to counter the overheating of the gun without having to use the heatsink attachment is to fire in short bursts. This way the gun will constantly cool down after every few shots without the need to change its battery pack when it overheats. Down to the AE4 having pretty much unlimited ammo, you don't have to equip the scavenger perk with this one, and you can use another perk of your choice instead. I'd probably recommend using low profile as the AE4 has no other way to hide you from the radar. You can't equip a silencer on it, so you'll at least be safe from UAVs this way. You could also put on the quick draw grip to get down them sights a little bit faster, or the stock to help you with strafing. The stock can be a helpful attachment because down to the weapon's side to side recoil, you might be able to adjust your shots a little bit easier strafing from left to right. 
I actually did better in a lot of matches by using the stock, so I reckon you should definitely try it out. So overall, the AE4 is a different weapon from the rest of the bunch. A lot of you will probably think it's great, and a lot of you will probably dislike the way the gun performs. It's not the best weapon in the game in my honest opinion, but that's not to say you can't have a load of fun with it. The high damage combined with its relatively low recoil, along with its low fire rate and unlimited ammo with the drawback of it overheating, makes it a fairly balanced weapon. I wouldn't say that the gun is overpowered in the slightest, so don't worry if you don't own the Havoc DLC or the Season Pass, you're not missing out on the Holy Grail here. Though I should probably mention it's pretty badass in hardcore mode, killing in one shot. So if you have access to the AE4, you should probably give it a go and see if you like it. If you can manage its low fire rate and recoil pattern, you'll probably do really well with it. Anyway, that's just about it for this video guys, but do be sure to hit that like button while you're here if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, and make sure you're subscribed to see plenty more content on Advanced Warfare and other games on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.